all right no time to explain game welcome back king zaf here back with another video for you guys happy friday sorry i'm a little bit late unfortunately juneteenth was wednesday so i was quite busy between well actually i had to work on juneteenth but also some places weren't open and a bunch of other things going on so um couldn't get this video out sooner and plus i couldn't have difficulties getting this so i had to get this yesterday but anyway today is friday which is the actual full-fledged release of the latest Yu-Gi-Oh set Yu-Gi-Oh battles of legends terminal revenge this set is very controversial also it was very anticipated but now it's very controversial because if you guys don't know it's been very anticipated because of the cover card dragon master magia which is Actually, the the new fusion card comprised of Blue Eyes, Ultimate Dragon, and Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, uh, no, um, Magician of Black Chaos. I'm thinking of um, Dragon Master Knight. It's actually this guy right here. I'm going to put it closer to the camera because the light is. This is the OCG version. We pulled this out of the anniversary box that, come, that came out like every single year around Christmas time, around like between Christmas and New Year's. The OCG has a special box set that comes out featuring new cards and bunch of other stuff that they like to do one year was the prismatic god box another one was the secret utility box and then they had the duelist anniversary box um last time and that's where the card actually first came out so that the cover card is the card that everybody's looking for um because it although it's not super super playable but it came with a brand new boss monster for the nostalgia for the anime communities and i was looking forward to it too because of course i clearly have it in ocg i'm like sure i want to add it to my collection Will I probably be able to use it in a Blue Eyes deck? Maybe, maybe not, but we don't know. But it's now controversial because of the fact that Konami decided to only make that card as a QCR. So well, a lot of people were assuming they could get the card in Secret Rare because this set only comes with Secrets and Ultras. And since they're five card packs, one card is a Secret. The other cards are um, Ultras with a chance potentially of a QCR. Um, people assume that you'd be able to get it in Secret Rare and have it to play as a and have it impossible to play. But now you can only get it into a quarter century secret rare, which is very, very difficult to pull. Um, if you buy cases of it, you'll have a higher chance of pulling it. But essentially, you're only getting three QCRs per case if you're lucky four. Um, and there's 25 different QCRs. So have fun with that one. So it's very controversial in that sense uh, for about that card. So disclaimer before I crack this thing open. If you are purchasing or looking to purchase a set, if you're watching this video and you're looking to purchase a set with the anticipation or expectation of potentially pulling a Dragon Master Magia, don't. Just don't do it. Save your money um, because you're going to have to buy a bunch of cases, which means you're going to be spending thousands of dollars potentially, unless you're just that super lucky. You can't gauge luck. If you want to spend your money and see how lucky you are, have at it. But as a financial note, just to, just to say, to make sure that you guys aren't just running out and just throwing money away, hoping that you'll pull this card, don't. If you really want this card, the best thing to possibly do is purchase a single. Um, today is after the pre-sale, so of course the prices and everything are going to start lowering and kind of stabilizing because the card is valued at $500 right now, which is absurd, but it's also a pre-sale, so you should never purchase stuff during a pre-sale because the prices are going to tank when, the, when it's available everywhere anyway. So today is the day for that to happen. Um, but just as a disclaimer on that note, um, I usually won't tell you to do some stuff like this, but just for the sake of you guys' wallet, just to make sure that you guys don't lower your expectations or if you purchase a box, don't expect to potentially pull it because of the chances of you getting it in, in secret. It's not available in secret rare. Don't purchase a lot of these for the anticipation of passion magia, unless you just have a gambling addiction or you just have a lot of money to waste, or you just, this is just what you do. You know, I record videos on the YouTube channel. So I'm purchasing this for, uh, for content purposes and my own personal collection, but I'm not buying this in an abundance. I will be doing a Blister versus Booster for this one, which is going to be very difficult now. I had the plan of, you know, seeing if it's just going to be a QCR battle or if you pull Magia or if you pull Phantom of Ebel. But since you can't pull Magia, uh, that's going to make the Blister versus Boosters very, very difficult. So I'll figure that one out when that time comes. I haven't got my Blisters yet, but we'll go over that when that time comes. But in the meantime... Um, side note, if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning, thanks for coming back. Um, we're going to be doing a couple changes in the future from, into some future videos coming into the future. But if you are new to the channel and you uh, want to see more content like this and or like content like this, give us a like, give us a comment, and give us a subscribe. We're on our goal to get 750 subscribers before we hit our goal of 1,000. So do us that favor. Very simple. It's free. doesn't hurt anybody. And then we have a lot more videos coming on, especially between Yu-Gi-Oh! Lorcana and a couple other things that I have cooked up planning um, in the mix. But without further ado, before I get rambling too, further, uh, too much further, like I like to do a lot of times, uh, let's get these things open. So 
I have two boxes instead of just one. Usually for Battle of Legends, I like to do two boxes instead of one box, um, just because of the fact that the, car the packs are much smaller. You know, these are five card packs, so these are like, essentially like the original rarity collection. Um, but also, it is a reprint set, so of course, a lot of cards in this set are gonna be reprints. They're not going to be um, many, many new cards. There's a couple. Um, personally, the card, the, the, the chase card outside of Magia is going to be uh, the Phantom of Ubel, as well as, um, for me personally, uh, outside of Magia, the cards I'm gonna be looking for personally are uh, Phantom of Ubel and Archfiend's Advent. Man, these cards feel so tiny. It feels like there's no packs. In there. It feels like there are no packs in here at all. I'm like, are there 24 packs? This is this just feels very small. I think I'm also accustomed to, I think Konami might have made these regular size boxes. I think just in the past, the Battle Legend boxes have been a little bit thinner. So, I don't know. I'm just off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it's 24 packs. <laughs> it just it, it feels off. Like I'm, it's just because it's just because of the card. It's just because of the pack size. It feels very very off. But you know, just debating it. But uh, for me personally, like I said, I'm going to be looking for Archfiend's uh, Archfiend's Avent and then um, Phantom of Ubel. Those are going to be the two main cards you're going to be searching for out of this. Um, outside of you know. If we get super lucky and pull pull Magia, sweet. If we pull a QCR, um, Phantom of Bell, I'm not gonna be mad about that either. But yeah, that's gonna be the the nature of these packs for me personally. So first pack crack open, see what we get out of it. So we have Life Hack, which is an odd card. Our uh, Ar Arginex Redime, followed by Ritual Beast Alti uh, Retatari. Can't even say that name properly. Followed by Infernoble Pallid, and then Spirit Converter. Some of these cards have very unique names. Um, I know the Gen X stuff got reprinted, and then of course they brought back Witcher Beast stuff. So there's a couple things in here that are, aren't, you know, super super awful. So then we have Arginex Tuning, um, Pillar of the Future Shadows, which I believe is a Sky Striker card. Yes, this is treated as Sky Sky Striker, and then Void Imagination. Which I can barely see the art because, of course, the shine from the uh, Secret Rare. And then Gen X Ally, followed by Infinoid uh, Sestleman. Um, I think almost all the Infinoid, well, not all of them, but most of the Infinoids got reprinted in this set. So, if you're into the market for Infinoids or want rarity bumps in that, this is a good set for that. But also, purchasing the singles because I'm pretty positive those cards can be dirt cheap. Another Turing, uh, Avoid. Um, Resonator and another Void Imagination. Pulled two back to backs of the exact same secret rare, followed by Orcus Harp Horror. Um, I have a friend in the Ritual Beast Ambush. I have a friend in my locals that's been playing uh, Orcus since I think they, I forgot what Orcus got unbanned or it got, became unlimited. It might have been Harp. I think Harp became unlimited. Um, and he's been playing Orcus and I've just been clapping him every single time. <laughs> White Circle Reef. Um, Bunch of Beast Bodies. I love the name of this card. This art is hilarious. So there's that. And then there's Infinoid Flood. I think this card is a little bit valuable. Not a lot. And then Freezing Chain to the Ice Barrier, followed by Scrap Goblin. Man, these cards are extra slippery. As you guys can see, there's kind of just a bunch of them just slid down here. I'm trying to stack them up neatly on my side and everything, and they're just falling apart and all that other fun stuff. But yeah. But in terms of Magia, I'm kind of I'm, I am a, I am one of those like you that are upset that they didn't put in a secret rare. They will in the future. I mean that card, you know, Konami reprints everything, so eventually it will be a secret rare in a, in a future set. But on the other side of it too, with the card not being a meta card, oh, Wing Creeper level six. Got him. I like the art of this card. This card is definitely 100 not usable in Elemental Heroes at all. But I do like the art of this card. So. That's a card I, I do like that we pulled that one. So yeah, we see, um, there's also, what was it? Uh, spirit of Crimson Dragon or something like that. This Crimson Dragon Spirit or whatever the heck that card is. Hope we get that out of here too. Just to have. And then Springin's Kit. Another reprint for all of you branded players. But um, like I said, it's not, the big of, it's not the biggest of deal in terms of it only being QCR because of the fact that, you know, Magician of the Bond and Unity is only QCR. And, you know, it's a nice card to collect. But at the same time, knowing that they're going to reprint in the future, it is kind of like crappy that that's how they do it right now. That's just my personal opinion. 
uh, Sun uh, Genjin. Nice reprint for this one. Of course, this is probably this is probably what set. I think you got these out of the McDonald's packs. So this card is very, very old. It's like at least 2003, if my mind serves me correctly. It might be 2002. But they have the reprint now because this card is now treated as a Millennium card because there is a retrain for this in the next uh, core set, which is, was Infinite Forbidden, which is the new uh, Exodia support uh, set. And then we have Ace of Spades, Speculations, followed by Genix Power and an Infinoid uh, Sessiman. But... So like I said, in terms, the card's gonna look fantastic in QCR, but it's just, you know, it does suck. I'm not gonna lie. But I don't know, maybe, I don't know if Konami just expects people to buy a bunch of bunch of boxes and cases of this or what they are expecting people to do for that one. But I don't know, they, I just, I just don't think they just piss a lot of people off. Um, Arbitration of White, White Reef Coral Reef, and then Arms of the Gen X Return Zero. Uh, Sprite Gammaverse, also all the sprites are in here. And then um, Spirit of the ice barrier all the sprite stuff is in here i believe for the most part except for like sprint so if you need uh rarity bumps in all your sprites or looking to purchase the sprite stuff this is another set with those reprints in it as well gathering light electrode blast amin followed by retro beast ulti um knock draco and then sprite pixies followed by branded lost which I believe got a rarity bump. And it lost to my knowledge was a super when it came out. So, but yeah, but this set also has a lot of branded reprints in it because I'm pretty positive Lou Bellion's in here, Mirror Jade is in here. Um, so, oh, and uh, Branded Fusion is actually a secret rare instead of an ultra. So, not a terrible reprint on that one. Division, Snatch Steel, and, all, and Secret Rare. I do need this. So, that's a great card for that one. Um, Balrock, so another very, very old card. I don't know why this one was reprinted, uh, per se, but it's in here. Followed by Medallion of the Ice Barrier. Like I said, I have Snatch Seals, but I don't have that many of them. So, having another one actually is nice. So, I think there's another deck that I'm going to build that requires me to have another one. A Wonky Quintet. This is actually hilarious. I love, love the art of this card. Bunch of Beast Bodies. Followed by Sprite Starter and Secret. Infernoid, a Trendies, and then another Gen X Ponder. Like I said, advantage of these cards, only have, packs only having five cards, I can get these a lot faster than I stereotypically would out of them. Okay, Guard Dog, a really good card. If basically you flip your opponent, cannot special summon for the rest of this turn. So this is good in um, that flip strategy. I can't remember what those cards archetype is. Gen X Controller, reprint on that one is Ultra, followed by Infernoid. Prima, um, Primarius in Secret, followed by another Scrap Goblin, and then Gen X Ally, Burb, um, and I'm not familiar with the Gen X archetype. If you guys know about that archetype more than I do or know how it plays, leave it in the comments. Um, I'll probably end up looking it up in the future. Um, what the heck is up with this card? This pack is one open. Um, I'll probably look it up in the future. I don't think it's anything crazy. It might be a decent engine but I don't see many people talk about it or play it. So in my personal opinion, I would just think it's not really worth it, but I could be wrong. So if you guys know about it, if you guys know about it before I can get to it, uh, let me know in the comments. I think it's pushed over my camera just a little bit. Um, toy box, followed by another, uh, this is not another one, Infernoid Harmonics. And then Freezing Chain of the Ice Barrier, followed by Spirit Beast Tamer Winda. I think this card's only really viable in the set if you pull the QCR version of it. Still no sign of Archie's Advent or uh, Phantom of Bell. I think Phantom of Bell is short printed because I've seen a lot of people not pull that card. But regardless, those are basically the two main cards we're going to be looking for. Wonky, uh, Synchro Panic, followed by Void Vanishment. I think that's the second one, second or third one that's we pulled. Followed by Spirit Gamma Burst. And then a freezing chain of the ice barrier. So also ice barrier stuff is in here. I'm not familiar with ice barrier stuff in terms of what it does or how powerful it is either, other than um, ice jade stuff. But so earthbound um, resonance. I can't even read and spell. <laughs> uh, Void breach followed by ritual beast ulti uh, Galilepo. Followed by Pocti, and then Branded Banish, uh, Branded Retribution. I don't remember what rarity this card was when it first came out. I can't remember. 
It might have been a secret. It might have also been an ultra. I remember that card. I just can't remember. It's, I can't remember. It's, uh, it's rarity. Or it could have been a common for all I know. But anyway, toy soldier, toy box, followed by uh, tribal gave a carrier and a secret. Kind of an odd secret choice, but okay. Ritual beast, ulti, and then followed by another spiritual beast of the window. We are about seven packs left, and then we'll crack open a second box. See what we get out of there. So far, no hits out of what we're, what we're looking for. Another life hack, followed by Repair Gen X Controller. This is the Link 1 for Gen X, so that's a newer card. Sprite Jet, and then Infinoid um, Anuchu. Like I said, getting one advent would be nice. At the absolute, it's getting an, an, uh, an Archfiend's advent. Um, Gather the Light. Argenix Reening, and then followed by uh, Mirror Mage of the Ice Barrier. This card is actually kind of uh, worth a couple bucks, so I'll, I'll take that too. Um, and then another uh, Harp, followed by Park Team. So, not a bad pull with the Mirror, uh, with the, with the mirror Mage of the Ice uh, Barrier, but not what we're looking for. And I ruined this pack. There we go. Thanks, I ruined that pack with ease. Okay, we got Electro Blaster, and then we got Void, followed by um, Aroma Sea Jasmine. Now we're gonna worry about that one. Uh, Skull Gun, and then Sprite Brand. I wonder why they reprinted these particular fusions. There has to be a reason for it. Or maybe some of those cards have some. I think some of those cards look a little bit familiar because they might have some of the retrains in the next set, but I don't know. It's kind of odd because those are very basic fusion cards. So I don't know why those would really get reprinted, but I don't know. Konami does Konami things. Um, Genesis Controller. And there's Branded Fusion in Secret. It's breaking a branded cards. Um, General Wayne of the Ice Barrier followed by whatever. This is another Ritual Beast ulti. So there's that. Last five packs out of the first booster box. Then we'll crack the second one open. See what we get out of that one. So we have another Void uh, Resonation, uh, Sacrifice Level Up, followed by Sky Striker Ace Azalea Temperance. So this is the new Sky Striker uh, card. It's a Link 3, isn't it? Yep, Link 3, 2500. So not a bad pull there. Another Orcus, and then a Ritual Beast Ambush. So there is that. Last three packs. Come on, can we at least see a Archfiend's Advent? Or Phantom of Ebel. Either or. There's three packs left, so there's three more hits to possibly get it. But Advent is really going to be wanted. Mirror Match, followed by uh, Sacrifice Level Up. Ebon Sun, I like the art of this card, so I'm glad I pulled this one. This card's art looks amazing. How useful it will be? Seems kind of complicated. And there's Sprite Blue, so I think, we're, I think we're just missing Sprite Red and Carrot. I think Carrot was reprinted in another set already, so it might just be Red. I know red's in here. I don't know about uh, carrot, but we'll see. Mirror match again. Bla um, Electro Blaster followed by Ritual Beast Inheritance, which is a Ritual Beast Continuous Spell. Infernoid. Eh, speaking of Sprite, there's Sprite Red. I said his name and he appeared. Damn it, Joe Hendry. Uh, and, man, this has completely ruined my entire algorithm. I have to look him up. Anyway, uh, wrestling thing, just in case any of you guys happen to know. Freezing Domain, followed by uh, Toy Box, followed by another brand of fusion. So it's the second brand of fusion we got for that, for a rarity bump for that one. And then two more traps, Branded Sword. I've never seen or heard of that card. And then another Ritual Beast, Ambush. Yeah, I do have a branded deck. I never play it. I built it because it was cheap, because you could bas you basically build it out of the structure decks, and that was pretty much it. So beyond that, I just built it, but I never play it. Uh, Earthbound Resonance, last pack of this box, Life Hack, followed by another Trapper Game Mercuria. So, quite a few duplicates and secrets out of this box. So, not too, too bad. Um, the Snatch Deal and uh, the Snatch Deal was, was the big pull out of that one. And I would say Branded Fusion is a little bit too. I really don't care about Branded Fusion. I, make, I try to make an effort out of beating Branded players. I still refuse to this day to understand how. Every most branded players I know play like 60 card decks. 
and they are successful at doing everything they need to do with the 60 cards. I have yet to see a 60 car uh, branded deck brick, which is baffling to me. Like, I don't know if it's just over, I don't know if it's just oversaturated with, you know, the duplicates of the cards. I, I, I can't tell you, but every time I play it, like I, I even in Master Duel, between Master Duel and real life, I'll see somebody with a 60 card deck and still be like, okay, you know, the, the likelihood of them hitting stuff is a little bit harder in a 60 card deck, statistically speaking. But every time I see a 60 card deck, it's always branded and they always pop off every single time. I just don't, I never have understood how that's possible. I guess maybe they just have too many combo pieces, I guess, but it is what it is. Coral Reef, followed by Ice Jade. Um, Algerin, I think I have this card. I can't remember what set. Was this set, um, this was either Photon Hypernova or it was Darkwing Blast, I think this card came out in. I can't remember which one, but I think I have that card. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt because you kind of have to like stop it in a chain. <laughs> Because I think it's effect. What does it effect do? I think it's effect negates and destroys something and then makes it immune. And so you have to beat it in a chain. Um, quick effect. You can activate this effect. Face of monster you control cannot be destroyed or banished by your opponent's card effects this turn. Then if you activated the effect in response to your opponent's card effect activation and your opponent has cards with that name on the field and or graveyard, you can banish those cards. If this card is banished by an opponent's card effect while, it, while this card is in your graveyard... You can special summon this card and you can use each effect. So yeah, you would have to you have to kill this in a chain. So like you would have to target it. Um when it activates its effect, you would have to um chain to it to um to basically destroy it before its effect can resolve. That's how you do that. Or just straight a you know, punch it in the face with over three thousand and kill it. But yeah. That was that, that was the pain in the butt about that card. Um Blast Caution, Synchro, and then another Void Imagination followed by uh, Metal of the Ice Barrier, and then Sprite Pixies. That's the second one of those we pulled. Moving on. Cracking this bad boy open. Alrighty. So then we have Arginex Retuning, um, Void Reimagination, and Oil. Actually, I forgot I wanted this card too. So this is uh, another um, Bonfire, to a degree. You target, up to, uh, you target up to two level two or lower fire monsters with different names in your graveyard, add them to your hand, and you can only activate one oil per turn. So Snake Eyes players, uh, watch out for that in Snake Eyes. <laughs> and then there's another Sprite Jet, and then another Infinite Court, yeah. Yeah, that card is a, um, it's a bonfire for the graveyard. So just in case they kind of finagle some other things out the way, you can oil and bring them back to your hand. Well, that's kind of a problem. Uh, a non pillar gigantic sprite spirit converter followed by the golden sword soul i forgot that card was in there so for the sword soul players um i've only seen golden sword soul really used once i've seen it used a handful of times not really many in frequent play i think it's just because most of the time it just doesn't come up really it might be in the deck for for uh sword soul players but they just never get to use it um pillar of the future Argin X Redime, followed by Sprite Starter. I think this is the second one of those we pulled. Palatina, and then what is this card? I'm sorry, uh, Ritual Beast. For some odd reason, my hand decided to just like say no. It doesn't want to turn a particular way. So we'll see what else we get out of here. Still looking for Archfiend's Advent and or Spirit, uh, Phantom, Spirit of the Bell, or Phantom of the Bell, sorry. There's a third Mercurier, so there's a complete rarity bump in Mercurier. And then Sprite Jet and Red. Nice. Uh, alrighty. Check out the, my sprite stuff. I'll probably never play, play sprite, but I think I have enough for the deck. Well, I always had enough for the deck. There's another Ebon Sun. I always had enough sprite cards for the sprite deck, for the exception of blue in Divine of the Herald. Um, I only had two blues at the time. One ulti from the OTS, and then one secret from when the set it came out in. Uh, what was it? Um, Power the Elements. And then unfortunately that got dented somehow, some way. Don't know how that happened. Um, Ice Jade ran. Okay. So it's a very important Ice Jade card. I know this one. Followed by another Jet. And then another Ritual Beast. Um, 
but I did have like, you know, carrot and red in them. They were commons when they came out. So, and then jet was either a secret or an ultra. I think it was an ultra. Uh, life hack followed by region. Ooh, shining star dragon. This was the other card I was looking for. So this was the, uh, the new crimson dragon card. There we go. So we've pulled, there's two cards out of here that I just want to have that we pulled. So we've got Karibo and we got the Shining Star Dragon. So cards, not, not cards I'm looking for for a particular use, but cards I'm looking for just for having a collection. So we pulled those two. So we're not doing too terribly, but um, yeah, I've had the other cards. Ooh, it, 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 Exodia Incarnate. Forgot about Exodia. Another card I wanted. You know, for the Ex Exodia port that's coming in the very, very near future. Anyway, getting sidetracked again. Um, so, yeah, like, the other ones in so, such a lower rarity that, you know, it wasn't that bad to have. So I had everything, but now then they started reprinting stuff and then the rarity bump, so it's been nice. It's nice to have a foil version of that deck. Void Vanishment, that's like the third one we pulled. Ritual Beast, and then Spirit of the Tamer. All right, we have about 10 packs left. Right, we've got about 10 packs left. Let's see if we get anything cool. Still no Archfiend's Advent. Still no Phantom of Yubel. Definitely no Magia. Another Incarnate. So there's two of those now. And then another Harp. Followed by that. And then Division. Whatever that is. Proxy F Magician. Um, nice to have that as a rarity bump. And then these two on that side. But yeah, so like I said, the reprint part of this is nice where you get the rarity bump so that way you can have pretty much an all foiled out deck. Um, and also for somewhat of a little cost, but at the same time, meh. Another gigantic sprite, so that's the second one of those we got. This is funny, this set has 47 uh, secret rares and the fact that you can literally like commonly get duplicates in a box is a little weird. Uh, Sinjin Toy Soldier. Followed by uh, Bronick the Magical Ice Dragon. Okay. Eeb. Oh, I forgot about Eeb. I do need an Eeb. And then there's Lubellion. So there's one of the other top branded fusion cards. Um, why this was reprinted as an Ultra? No idea. Because last time I checked, Lubellion was an Ultra in the deck. But Eeb, a card that's just fresh off the ban list not that long ago, um, I didn't need one of them. At least one. Not an expensive card, but now I have one, so perfect. And then Gen X followed by another brand of fusion. I think this is the third brand of fusion we got, so. <laughs> this is like, this is uh, Battle of Legends. Are you trying to tell me, hey, play branded. You can do it. Blazing Cartesia is in here. Or Quim is it Quimmer's Blazing Cartesia? This Blazing Cartesia is an ultra in here. Still haven't seen it yet. Mirror Match followed by Sacrifice followed by whatever Jasmine is. So that's the second copy of that we pulled, and then a lot more Orcas. I'm getting a lot of the Orcas harps. Last seven packs. Come on, you bell, come on, Archfiend's Advent. One of those two would make this box really great. Guard Dog and Infernoid Premius, followed by Gamma Burst, and then the Cute Frog. Yeah, come on, Archfiend's Advent. At the absolute least, that card is not worth a lot, but that's one of the cards I would like to have and or want. Followed by this, Substitoad. This card, I believe, is banned, but that's actually a pretty big hit out of here. And there's Blazing Cartesia. There we go. Like I said, I, a lot of times, if you guys haven't seen previous in the channel, I'll name drop cards a lot, and then they'll disappear. So, Archfiend's Advent, Finish with Bell, Dragon Master Majum. Less likely than the last one. Show up. It'd be cool. It would be cool. Uh, the End of Anubis. This is a very, very old card, but still nice to have in a rarity bump, and it looked pretty. Actually, no, that's not a rarity bump. That came in Secret Rare, I believe, in, I in, um, what set was that? It wasn't IOC. Was it IOC? No, it wasn't IOC. I forgot what set they came out in. Um, but yeah, but newer text and newer art, newer foil pattern, still nice. Bunch of these bodies followed by another Snatch Seal, so I will take that. That is actually nice to have. Pixies, and then Branded Lost. Last three packs. You Bell, Archfiend's Advent. Come on, Archfiend's Advent. At the least have Archfiend's Advent. That would be nice. Division, followed by this, followed by another end of Anubis. 
and then Orcus, and then Ritual Beast. Last two packs. Come on. Last two, last two, last two pack magic. Come on. Archfiend's Advent or Phantom of Ubel. Either or. Uh, another mirror, uh, mirror Mage, followed by these guys. All right. Last pack magic. Otherwise, our hopes of getting those are either just getting the singles, which I'm probably already going to do, and or Blister versus Boosters sometime next week. So we will see. Come on. Archfiend's Advent. Phantom of Ubel. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the do the pack trick to make this make this epic's last two cards in the back. Okay. Sprite Red. Sprite Pixies. Toy Soldier. Toy Box. I love the pattern of these. And oh, Ritual Beast Ultra Gal. I was like a fusion. It could be you, Bell. Nope. It's not you, Bell. So. That covers both of those booster boxes. So essentially, you know, Snatch Deal, Substitute, Proxy, this, don't care about Mercury, Oil, uh, Sky Striker card, definitely. And where are you? Another Snatch Deal. Wing Karibo. So, yeah. Those are all the secrets. So, pretty much the, the decent hits out of here, for me, personally. I'm not saying that these are the these are the, the, the guaranteed decent hits. But without a doubt, Snatch Deal is one of them. Snatch Deal is a, is a good hit. Because that's a... That card, uh, I think, coming... I don't recall if this was banned, but it being bumped up definitely makes it a very valuable card. Personally, just for the sake of these cards being brand new and also having them in OCG and TCG, having uh, the, the Shining, um, Shining Star Dragon and the Wing Karibo is nice for the just the personal collection. Uh, Proxy of Magician is not super, super big, but the Sky Striker card, um, as well as the Substitute, are probably, I would say, are the two bigger hits out of the secrets, out of these two boxes. So that's going to do it for this unopening um, and unboxing. If you guys like this video and like content like this, make sure you give us a like, give us a comment, and give us a subscribe. Stay tuned because I will be doing a Blister versus Boosters for this one. That one's going to be very difficult to do because there aren't, there aren't ratios with these boxes. Every pack has four ultras and a secret. So essentially that was probably just going to be a game of whichever one has a QCR in it or whichever one potentially has a chase card in it. So... I'm probably going to use this two chase cards I'm using today. Archfiend's Avent, um, um, Phantom of U Bell, and, and a QCR. We'll see what we pull out of those um, and gauge those based on the score. So essentially, if either pack pulls uh, one of the chase cards and or a QCR, basically kind of just higher valuing it to determine which one will win that one. Um, like I said, that one being a little bit more difficult than the others, but... Um, I'll figure that out when the time comes. I still have to wait on my blisters to show up, which should be here either later today or potentially over the weekend. So that video will probably come Monday or Tuesday-ish, depending on how soon that stuff gets here. But anyway, uh, stay tuned for that video. Give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscribe if you're already there. Hope we get our goal 750 subscribers and then be on the lookout because there's going to be a couple more smaller giveaways coming along in the future with more packs and more things happening going on that. So in the meantime, this is King's F. It's no time to explain. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.